actually don't know anyone at the party. Actually, I'm new here. Actually, uh, then my friend Taylor said, come to the party, I'll introduce you to everyone at the party, and then you'll know everyone when you leave the party. And actually, Taylor knows everybody, so then I would know everybody, so of course, Taylor didn't show up. So I guess I'm gonna have to mingle, so here I am mingling. Of course, mingling isn't really my game. I mean, I'm not like actually an expert mingler. I was actually just over there in that corner alone mingling, actually. I wasn't talking to anyone, actually. Uh, but then I said, that guy sure looks like a mingler. So I came here, and now I'm here right now mingling with you. So hi, I'm Megan. It's nice to meet you. It certainly is nice to meet you, Megan. My name is Sam. Uh, gee, I didn't mean to bother you. Oh, you're not bothering me. Far from it. I was born with a speech impediment, so I talk like this. I can only talk in sarcastic tones. <laughs> Look, there's, there's nothing I would rather be doing than just standing right here with you. You know, really getting to know you. Well, there's no need for sarcasm. Sarcasm? No! Me? No! Far from it. No, I'm never sarcastic. It's just my speech impediment. Well, clearly I've offended you, so I'm actually just going to leave you alone. Oh, no. Whatever am I going to do if you leave? I'll just be here by myself. <laughs> I'm so lonely. <laughs> Oh, hey, Sam. I thought that was you over there. Oh, boy, I'm so glad that I ran into Andrew at this party. <laughs> There's no need to be rude. Rude? Me? No. No. Come on, it's just me. Remember, I have that speech impediment. I just talk like this. I can't help it. Well, anyways, as you know, I started this new social cause where I'm helping the rainforest. Oh. Please entreat my ear holes to the details of your new cause. I just can't wait to hear about it. Well, did you know that the size of a football field is destroyed from the rainforest every second? And did you know there's over 2,000 butterflies living in South America? What? I am so intrigued by both of these facts. Won't you please enlighten me about how I could help you? Well, you know what? I'm getting really tired of your tone. But you know what? I care about my cause, so I'm going to give you my card. Oh, boy. I cannot wait. The very first thing that I'm going to do when I leave the party is jump on my computer, my MacBook Pro with Retina display, and open it up and pull up the Google Chrome internet browser. Type in this very URL into the search bar, pull out my credit card, and type in the 16-digit extension from my fifth third bank account and donate all of my checking account funds to your cause. <sighs> hey, buddy, how's it going? Oh, boy, it's Caitlin. I sure hope that she talks to me about her cats. Yes, that's actually exactly what I'm going to do. I have a new cat, actually, number 37 in the family. And it's the name is Caitlin because we're not very creative around here. But I actually originally thought it was a boy, so I named it C.S. Lewis. Um, but actually, I went to the vet and found out they, they were like, looking at it and they said, oh, it's a girl. And I said, what? And I didn't know that it was a girl, so now I just don't really know how to treat it. So I thought it was a boy. I was calling it like Champ and Tiger all the time. Now I can call it like girl names and stuff. So anyways, that's why it's kitten. But it's still the cutest. Look at all these pictures. I've got to show you all these pictures. Oh, boy. You know what I'm going to do right now? What? I'm going to sign up for Instagram so that I can like every single one of your pictures of your cats. I am so genuinely interested in your cats. I care about them so much. It would be such a shame if they ran away or if they got hit by a truck or if someone scooped them up into a garbage bag and threw them off a bridge. That would be so horrible. 
I couldn't like, imagine the horrors that you would experience. Yeah, that would be awful. Why are you like making fun of me right now? Oh, I'm not making fun of you. This is just how I talk. It's my speech impediment. Okay, it would be so horrible if someone, you know, dropped a piano on your kitten, or if it spontaneously combusted. That would be just so bad. Listen here, buddy. <laughs> Well, you know what? You think it? I think it'd be great if maybe someone came up to you and they had like rope and stuff and they hog tied you and then swung you like this over the river and they tied cinder blocks to your feet and then you sunk to the bottom and then you're the one who died, not my cats. They are innocent creatures. They do not deserve to die. <laughs> well, we have a great show for you tonight. So I certainly so hope you enjoy the show. Let me ask you. So